Good morning. Hey, let's go ahead and talk about um, context clues for Tuesday. The word for this week is insists. Yesterday we talked about how this is an example of an inferencing context clue because it doesn't just tell you exactly what it is. You have to kind of read between the lines a little bit and use some of your background knowledge to figure out what it means. So the example with anytime Reggie goes out to eat with his friends, he always insists that he pays the entire bill. He likes to extend some kindness and generosity to his friends. Okay, so yesterday I think we had some people predict that this word means demand. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and look at the definition of it. And commercial. One thing you're going to notice is there are several. Look, we have one, two, three, four, five different definitions. And when this happens, when you have a word with so many definitions, the only way to figure out which one it is, is to read all of them and then figure out, okay, what applies to our sentence, right? So we have the very first one, to be emphatic firm or resolute on some matter of desire, demand, or intention. And then there's the example in the sentence. He insists on checking every shipment. Okay, now that sounds pretty similar to what we were just reading about, right? So I'm thinking one's probably going to be our best definition, but let's check the rest just in case. To lay emphasis in assertion, like to insist on the justice of a claim, or to dwell with earnestness or infinite emphasis, usually followed by on or upon. So example being to insist on or to insist upon a point in a discussion. Okay. Um, can also mean to assert or maintain firmly. He insists that he saw the ghosts or to demand or pers pers persist <laughs> in demanding, I insist that you see this thing through. Okay, so a lot of words, a lot of language, kind of can be a little confusing, right? Um, so when we go back up, usually the first definition that's listed is the most common definition. So you're, it's usually gonna be a, a good bet that it's gonna be this first one, but not always, so that's why we have to check. Okay, so yesterday we said, to demand, like he would always demand that he pays the entire bill. If we say to be firm, emphatic, or resolute on some matter of desire, demand is this word right here. And that's what we predicted yesterday. So for our definition, we can write to be firm, to if, like emphatic is a is a really grown up word. If you're not really sure what that means, don't use it. Okay, um, use the words we do know: firm and demanding. Okay, all right. Context clues. All right, I'm going to move on to pop. Now you guys are going to need to get your pop books out. Now, when we are doing videos like this, it's super super important that. If you are getting your books out, if you're doing, um, if I'm going too fast, anything that makes you feel like you're kind of slipping behind, I need you to pause the video and then get caught up. Once you're caught up, then go on to um, play the video and move on at your own pace. That's the best part of having these lessons recorded is that you can stop and go back. Okay, once you've opened up to your pop book, um, we are on the page that talks about how they are alike and how they are different. So I am going to have you record our model sentence from yesterday. She tucked her beak beneath her wing. And we talked a lot about that sentence yesterday. Subject, pro, subject noun is actually a pronoun. We had a past tense verb. We noticed that Beneath was a preposition that's going to tell us where her wing was, or I'm sorry, where her beak was. Okay, so then that's our model sentence. Once that's recorded, again, press pause if you need to. Um, 
Then we're going to go to my imitation sentence and we're going to record my imitation sentence. So the imitation sentence says, the boy stuffed his green beans into his sleeve. So let's look at this sentence. I'm going to point out all the ways that I think that they might be alike or different. If you notice anything else, please record them, okay, on your paper. Um, the first thing is, I, instead of using a pronoun for my subject noun, I just used a common noun, okay, and still kept my uh, verb tense in the past, right? So that stuffed, the ed indicates that it happened in the past. His green beans. Okay, so um, we have an adjective there, right? Green is describing the kind of beans that we have. What kind? Green. And into his sleeve is going to be my prepositional phrase. All prepositional phrases um, begin with a preposition, and mine happens to be into. Now, yesterday we talked about these pictures over here on the, on the left. How you can kind of use this phrase about the ball in the box, right? The ball is blank the box. And if you can fit, if one of those prepositions can, can fit in that sentence and still make sense, right? Then you know it's a preposition. So let's look at the word into. The ball was went into the box, right? So we know into is going to be a preposition. It still makes sense. Um, okay, so those are some ways that they are alike and different. I didn't name all of them. There's just a couple. You need to try to find at least three ways that they are alike. You can use some of mine if you'd like. Three ways that they are different and record those on your pop book. Okay, so you can pause this video and finish that up. When you are done with that, go ahead and continue the video so that you know what to do next. Okay. So now it's time for words their way. If you are meeting, or I'm sorry, if you are in the Northeast group, you are going to be clicking on your box up here to go straight to your test, okay? Um, and then the West group, you are going to be doing a partner sort, right? Um, taking your words from your pocket and doing your, your sort. East group is going to be doing something a little different. You're going to click on this green circle here. And when we click on it, you're going to see a seesaw lesson. Now, you should have received a QR code that you can use to scan to get into seesaw. Okay, and when you get to your assignment, you're going to add, click this plus for add a response. And this is, um, all your directions are right here if you need them. But this is your way of doing your sort and write on the computer. Okay, now if it gets too messy and it just is not making sense, please don't worry about it. Go ahead and do your write and sort the way that we have been doing. Okay, in the back of your writing notebook. Okay, South Group. Since I was not there yesterday to give you your actual cards, you're going to click on the south circle. You also have a seesaw activity. You're going to need that barcode to get in. Okay, and these are just regular old worksheets that we've put into seesaw. You're going to um, click add a response, pick which person you are. Okay, make sure you're being honest. And then I'm going to pick Isaac for right now. When you get in here, you can add the text, you can type your word, let's go with new, and then we're ready to move it to the correct um, box, which is going to be right here for the EU, EW sound, new, kind of hear that W at the end, okay? Now, it might get kind of tight in here, all right? So you can make them as um, small as you need to. I find if I click off of it, then the these circles pop up, and then I can try to shrink it some more. Okay, and then um, careful of that. It's just like if you move the paper like this, that's okay. Just let go of it, re-click on our word, and move the word. Okay. All right. 
that and when you are done you're going to click this green checkbox twice i believe it's twice okay so make sure it gets turned in all right guys um north group you are going to stay on and actually you're going to head to the zoom page because you and i are going to meet and we are going to go over your new list of words okay and just like always if you finish um before it's time to be done you have your blue box to head over to anything in the blue box you can work on if you don't have indiana history finished from yesterday this would be a good time to work on it okay just like we normally would do all right i'll let you guys get to it <laughs>